Today we're going to take a look at one of our favorite techniques in all of Jiu Jitsu, Sumigeshi. It's one of the most versatile sweeps from the bottom position, Gyanogi. And normally what we're looking to do is take our partner and reverse them, put them on their back, come up on top. But a lot of times, especially with people who are athletic, they've got great balance, they're very flexible, and they know what Sumigeshi is, they'll counter Sumigeshi not through any sort of um, attack, but rather by shifting their body weight. And when they do this, it can make it very difficult for us to finish sumigeshi. We can feel like we're getting crushed underneath. Here is what the counter looks like. So we're from a, we're seated in a butterfly guard. We're gonna tuck a leg and we're gonna advance in on our partner and get it under, okay? Usually what we're looking to do from here is gather up our partner's wrist or control their tricep. And what we wanna do is we wanna draw our partner's arm in either to our hip or in close to their body, put our shoulder on the floor, and then from here tilt, we use our top leg as an elevator, put our partner on their back, and then from here take the top position. So that's what we're trying to do. But sometimes what will happen is, because your partner knows that your sweep is out in this direction, they'll bring their head and even their arm off to the other side. So what ends up happening is, you move, you, they free their arm, as you go to sweep, you're, you end up with your partner in a position like this. And now, because his weight is on the opposite side of the sweep, it becomes very difficult. Even if I try to lift with my right leg now to sweep him over, first, we don't have anything to control on this side. Second, he has his leg as a base. And third, his weight is out that way, so it becomes very difficult. And we run the risk of getting our legs brought across. And now from here, you can see hips are on the floor, our partner's gonna start to squash us. So what do we do in a situation like this? Well, one good answer is, as we begin to sweep and we feel like our partner is taking their body out, we're going to keep our knees in tight. So we'll show you on the opposite angle, but this side here, this knee is out. Next, we're going to use our right leg and we're going to lift and then we're going to escape our left leg to this position. So we take our hook leg and leave it where it is and we take the second leg, it was our drive leg, and we connect it here. Now, you'll notice that his weight is here. This gives us access to our partner's back. We're gonna extend our two legs, making them solid, strong hooks. We can put our hand on the floor, or our elbow on the floor, and we're gonna use this seatbelt to draw our body out so this knee comes up. Now, if your partner is low enough where you can simply shift your hips, you'll find that you have an extension hook here, an extension hook on the far side. Because we have another hook with our right hand, even if he goes to bring his head up, we can use our head to be able to make sure that we keep our back control and now we can rise the back. As he goes up to his two knees, we have a hook inside and we're ready to throw our second hook in or attack from the back however we like. So, we're in a situation where we're looking for sumigeshi and we find ourselves getting, kind of getting crushed because our partner takes their arm across our body and they start to base here. Now, if we continue with sumi, we're gonna be in pretty big trouble here. So instead, we elbow escape, bring our knee through this space. We make our hooks very sticky by pulling our toes back. We extend and move our body away and then we look towards our partner's head. Now we have this kind of butterfly position where our partner's resting in between our hips. We're gonna extend everything and keep looking towards our partner. That's gonna help carry them over into this position. Now from here, we can start to look to, we have our hook inside. If our partner builds up to the knees here, we can stay behind the armpits or we can pass our leg up over the top and look for a uh, back headed on. Okay, one more time. So in a case where we're going sumigeshi and we feel like our partner has got their body out here. Right now I've been collapsed down to his shoulder, so this is not a good place. We're gonna slip our knee, use our legs to extend our partner back, look towards our partner's head and climb. If we feel like our partner's up a little higher and it's not possible for us to reach, then we're going to prop either on an elbow or on a hand. Here probably I'll be on an elbow. And we're going to use this to sit up. So the hook, the extension of the hook helps to do this for us. Once our head gets to our partner's back, all that's left to do is to cover this distance. Our right leg, which was a hook now, is going to come back. So we're going to have to heist in order to be able to get chest over back. And now from here, we're in a position where we can start to look to attack our partner. So whether you end up with your shoulder pinned on the floor, in which case you use both legs to extend, or you find a partner who's rising, which would require you to also rise, you have a good counter, a good answer to what happens when your partner tries to base and brings their weight across you whenever you're trying to hit some engage. Okay, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. See you soon.